Oh, Kyle, I didn't see you there. Oh, Adam, I did not see you there either. Oh, we're here to talk about Skills Canada and uh, safety. Safety is it's good. It's very... Safe. No, with good acting. So, sorry. Okay. We're supposed to... I'm so bored. I guess I'll just play with these scissors. Uh, right close to my face. Oh. Whoa! Stop right there! Whoa! Who are you? I'm your fairy godmother, and I'm here to teach you about the world of safety. Well, you just keep on talking, and I'm gonna poke around my eyes with this fork. No, 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 don't do that. That's, that's dangerous. I'll take you to Skills Canada. They're safe there. They know all about safety. Come with me. Whoa! you what the dangers are of working in a carpentry environment uh, the biggest dangers is actually power tools probably uh, either the portable or the stationary power tools and the highest danger is usually the the tools with spinning blades so those are the ones where you kind of don't get a second chance if you make a mistake uh, the jointers are actually quite serious as well the trouble with those is you can get a cut but you there's none to I guess you could say sew back on so you got to be very careful with uh, those type of tools, right? Whoa! We're here. An electrical wire. Wow! What kind of stuff do they do here? They wire electricity. Oh, why I use I use electricity to run all my everyday stuff. It can't be harmful. Well, I beg to differ. See, electricity is very dangerous. So like this, the electricity. Go over there and see. You okay? Oh, no, no, no. Electrocution, or you know, what happens when a, a human body contacts an electrical source. It's uh, important to realize that something even as small as 120 volts, which you have in your homes, can be incredibly dangerous in the wrong situations, or almost any situation, more so when there's uh, water around, wet environment, there's a good chance you might get seriously hurt or killed. Everybody here is working according to the Occupational Health and Safety Act and regulations. What sort of things can be done to prevent accidents uh, such as this? Simple clothing, uh, make sure your arms are covered, your hands are covered, your face is covered, your neck's covered. Uh, always have a helmet, something like this, anything like that, a pair of safety glasses always, uh, a pair of good gloves, and 
anything like a simple jacket like this, some guys will wear leather, anything like that, just to keep the sparks off your body and the heat off your body. How do you figure this is useful? Protective headwear is good anywhere. Uh, eyeglasses, you never know when you're walking through a shop like this or anybody's shop, uh, what could be coming in the air. Somebody could be cutting a simple pipe or grinding in another room and something could bounce away. So anything protecting your eyes or face at any time in a school situation or in a welding situation is, is, is perfect. You gotta have it. Whoa! Why'd you leave me there? Oh, sorry. So what did you learn today, Adam? At Skills Canada! Safety is important to any workplace. And what did you learn about how they stay safe? By wearing the proper equipment and having lots and lots of training so no one ever gets hurt. So all in all, safety is a skill for life. This is what makes people safe. Training.